In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to use AutoEye to enhance an image. This image has been resized and it's soft. I'm going to go up underneath the filter menu and choose AutoEye 2. It's going to come into AutoEye and be automatically enhanced within a second or two of it entering the interface. I'm going to use the panning tool to position this for the video. Now let's go up and hold the original button down. You're going to notice how the original is soft. When I lift up on the original, the preview is updated and you can see how sharp it is. The eyelashes are seen, the detail in the hair comes out, and the image really pops with a nice, clean sharpness. You can turn off the automatically enhance checkbox here to the left, and that's going to turn off any automatic enhancements, such as the sharpening. By adjusting the rebuild detail slider here to the left of the interface, you're going to basically be able to sharpen the image more. You can also adjust the Remove Color Cast and Smooth Noise sliders. These allow you to smooth out any noise that's introduced by uh, heavy sharpening. By clicking on the Color tab, basically I'm able to adjust Red, Green, Blue, Saturation, Hue. I'm going to go down to the Tonal Range slider. This is an important slider as it adjusts the range of color tones within the image to give you a pleasing look. I'll adjust the contrast and show you what that looks like. Alright, very good. Now I'm going to click on the Effects tab. And basically this gives you all the creative controls. I'm going to adjust the tonal range. And underneath here let's choose Harden Details. And watch what happens with the image. It gives you a very nice hardened look. By adjusting the strength, you can basically reduce that. and You can also adjust what it targets, such as the color channels, so that it's not affecting the entire image, it's affecting just a specific channel. Here's the original, and here's the after. Very good. Now let's go underneath Blur, and we'll choose a normal blur. Add a little motion and choose the direction. All right. And this basically applies a blur to the image, which you can use the brush feature in Photoshop to adjust if you want to brush away certain areas of your image uh, utilizing layer palettes in Photoshop. The grain feature applies a slight stochastic style grain to the image. You have various types of grains you can apply such as red, green, and blue. And I'll go ahead and I'll blow this up larger so you can see what the grain itself looks like because uh, it's very small in this image. Okay, as you can see it produces a pattern such as this but it's in a very small size and it's a pleasing look especially on prints and canvases. And we'll choose grain one and go up here and take a look at the original. As you can see, Ottawa is very easy to use. It produces great results and it's affordably priced at $129.